Hello everyone, welcome to channel Geek Nepal. Today I'll be going through the single output up. Uh, use a add function. I'll use a data comparison function. I'll make a counter using add function and data comparison. And I'll, I'll also work on a yelcal function which is used to go to the subroutine from the main program. Okay, so let's begin by adding a normally open contact and let's say this one is input 0 i0 okay already let's add a function add okay our source one will be data register d0 okay d0 okay we'll add one to the data register and save it to data register d0 okay close all right repeat it 10 times okay so basically we are making a counter like adding one to data register d0 and saving it to d0 register okay let's add a single output up trigger here so when the output is on this will count once okay so when the output is off it does nothing okay again when the when it is turned on again it will count one more so basically add every time it have when it has single output up trigger okay let's define it another contact here which would be our input one okay at this time let's not use this single output okay but here okay let's add a data register d1 we want to add one to data register one two okay and save it to data register d1 okay okay i hope you already got it but let's simulate and see okay oh i was planning to do something else this one should be data register d1 okay and save it to d1 okay let's run it since the input one is on it's been counting 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 okay and adding this to data register d1 okay let's turn it off okay and this one is counting only what only on the rising trigger okay up trigger so five why it was four here before because the re data register uses the memory from the previous program okay let's do this one more time seven okay that's how the SOTU works okay let's add a data comparison function now okay here data comparison okay let's say if the data register comparison d0 okay if the data register d0 okay if it is equal to let's say 10 okay what happens is we want to set this data register to 0 okay so we'll use a move function so we will zero here and okay so basically once the data register is equal to zero then zero will be moved to data register d0 okay let's simulate it one more time we have seven on data register d0 let's do it one more time 
8 wait 9 you see 9 here now when it's 10 data register comparison is true okay what happens here okay say so it sets data register d0 to 0 okay so basically we make a counter with the preset of 10 using a AND function okay with a single trigger up okay and without the yes so tu function the counter will be adding going to quick okay I hope you see the difference between using a so tu and without a so tu or function okay let's move to next next I will be working on a adding a subroutine okay let's say this one is one and this one is a output mapping okay so let's say this one is a memory bit okay zero and that will trigger the let's say output which one is output zero okay already and let's go back to main function so what we want to do here is let's say with the memory bit or something that to trigger okay let's use the input two okay and that will need a yell cal function okay label call okay so on here we'll define this to one why because this output is mapped to one okay so routine one okay let's simulate it one more time okay so something triggers okay if the input two is triggered that will take us to the label subroutine that will be one which goes to here okay so that's how you call the subroutine okay again this is a yell cal there are other functions which i want to show it to you yell jump yell return label return okay so basically today we went over making a counter function using and instruction and a data comparison resistor we use a yell cal function to label call call the label okay and thank you so much for your time. I hope to see you in the next.